This is a Royal Enfield Bullet 500. This model in the U.S. is known as the B5. Elsewhere in the world it's referred to as the Bullet Classic. This is essentially the model that the Enfield Motorcycle Company in India introduced in the 1950s, which was at the time built under license from Royal Enfield in England. The motorcycle has been modernized though, and it now has a unit construction engine, which means that the engine and transmission are all one cast together rather than separate pieces, and so that eliminates the oil leaks you used to have. It also has fuel injection, so that there's no more carburetor, no more problem with cold starting, and the fuel management is much better, much more efficient. Uh, it also has in this very large exhaust, and if you if you look at a 1950s bullet, and this one, the biggest difference you're going to see is probably that exhaust, and that that's because this has a three-stage catalytic converter. It meets all European and American uh, uh, emissions requirements. The Royal Enfield Company was founded in 1893 as a builder of bicycles in England. In 1899 they built their first motor vehicle which was a quadricycle or what we would know as a probably look like a motorized buggy with spoke wheels uh, which is a an automobile as far as we're concerned. Uh, their first motorcycle was built in 1901 and that is one year before Triumph began building motorcycles and two years before Harley-Davidson. So it's not the first, it wasn't the first motorcycle but it's the oldest existing motorcycle company. This model again is a 500, it's 499 cc's actually, uh, 83 millimeters bore I believe and a, and a 90 millimeter stroke so it's a very long stroke that means it's going to run at a very slow RPMs the company claims it should get about 85 miles per gallon although I doubt that I'm guessing somewhere 70 to 75 according to the uh, the, the riders who have them who track their mileage on, on the fuelly.com website uh, I plan to commute on this uh, it will do, uh, they claim, 82 miles per hour, and I've had it up to 70, though it's not broken in, so I haven't gone beyond that, and, and I've only kept it at that speed for very brief times. Uh, this is a single cylinder again, a thumper with a very long stroke. Uh, the, the sound of the engine was very important when they were developing it. Uh, the, they wanted the, the new fuel injected engine to sound a whole lot like the old carbureted ones on both the 350s and the 500s that they still sell in India uh, because the sound of the infield in India is as important as the sound of the Harley Davidson is to us. You may notice there's, there's a Kickstarter here and I have kickstarted it a few times and that, that's uh, not hard to do at all. Of course, uh, being fuel injected, if the battery were dead, then the fuel pump would not be able to pressurize the system, so you still would not be able to start it. I'm going to start it for you now, though. You may have heard the fuel pump there, and we'll, uh, we'll have to take it out of gear first. It's also a five-speed transmission. Up until recently, it was a, they had a four-speed. Uh, and of course it does have an uh, electric start now. And there you go, not much to that. Uh, kind of reminds you of the, you know, an old Japanese motorcycle from the, from the 60s and 70s. Uh, the motorcycles didn't change a whole lot from the 50s through the 70s. It was only after that that they began to either digress back to something that looked like it was from the 30s or 40s, or to progress to uh, more aerodynamic uh, fared machines with a lot of plastic on them, but uh, this one is as simple as it gets really as far as uh, not having a lot of extra stuff, it looks modern, it only weighs about 400 pounds, which is the biggest beef I have with the Harley Davidsons now as a Sportster weighs nearly 600 pounds, and that's their smallest motorcycle. Um, the original Sportster was a whole lot like this motorcycle, only with a bigger engine. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, Harley Davidson needs to come out with a, you know, a new K model or something that would be about this size, but that would have the 883 engine.
in any case, uh, I, I rode it home from the dealer, which was about uh, a little over 60 miles, or about 60 miles, and, and really enjoyed it. It's really lightweight, fun to ride, uh, and, and uh, I, I expect to get a lot of years of use out of it.